I'm here with Chuck from Avante, and we're gonna look at some active PA speakers. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. I'm excited about these because <laughs> you guys, you guys all know about my setup. This is a cheaper option, and uh, it looks like really good quality too. So let's check out these speakers. Yeah. So this is our new Acromic series. It's a debut series for Avante, which is a brand new brand. We uh, debuted at the Infocom show, and this is our very first NAM, and it's been awesome. It's really exciting to be here. The, the response has been really cool. And like she said, you know, we're a pretty affordable brand, but it's a, it's a lot of bang for your buck. So um, we have five boxes. They're all active. The top boxes are all bi-amp, or a class D amplifier on the woofer, and there's a class AB on the tweeter, and it's going to give you a really smooth, linear sound. It's very, very pleasant. We all, and they all have a 24-bit DSP with presets. Can I show you? Yeah, please. Cool, cool. So we try to make getting good sound as easy as possible because we know working musicians, entertainers, DJs, they have other things to worry about at the gig than sitting there dialing in the speakers all night. So you just go into mode, we have some presets like live, club, speech, um, location modes, you're going to put it on a pole, use it as a monitor wedge or mount it on a wall bracket. You have tonal control, you have, there's some, oops, you can control the LED, you can turn it on, off, or make it a limiter. I'm just going to leave it on because I like the pretty blue light. You'll see on the back there's an eighth inch stereo, RCA, and this is a TRS XLR combination. So if you have a quarter inch you can use it, or if you just use an XLR, got you covered there. One of the really fun features on this is there's a push button, 7.5 degree tilt. It's really easy, you don't have to take the speaker off the stand and put it in another hole, it's just that's push button. That's really cool. How's it, how's it work underneath? There's a little button. You can see there's one on each side. You only have to press one. You press it, locks it in place, you press it again. That is a cool feature. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, people really like that. Um, and as you can see, I have one down here in a monitor wedge position. So we also have a 15 inch and an 18 inch active subwoofer. Uh, they have a... a not, for, not for the tens, right, but for the... You can use them with the tens. No, actually they sound really good. Like a 15 inch sub with the tens sounds really nice. Now, how, how much is this ten? This ten is uh, $379.99. That's amazing because uh, the other guys, you know... Uh, about twice as much. About twice as much, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. You know, and we know we're a new brand. We're just getting out there. It'd be crazy for us to ask for those kinds of prices, although some people think we could. But we want to get out there. We want to. We want everybody to have good sound. Everybody deserves good sound, not just the performance uh, artist, but the audience. They deserve it too. The, I run. I run a mixer out out of my uh, speaker that I have right now, and I I love it because somehow I get a really clear sound out of this type of a speaker, much better than an amp. Oh yeah, absolutely. absolutely. For me, anyway, like especially for a clear piano sound. Right, and if, you know these speakers. I've tried them myself uh, on a 88 key. Yamaha that sounds great in all the registers you know uh, you get really nice low end even at for a 10 the bass response is amazing but it's hard to show convey it on video so I hope some of you guys get a listen to them uh, in real life um, so anyway you have the subs if you need to add a little punch um, the subs have a, a DSP as well they have a fully adjustable crossover but if you're not comfortable trying to pick the crossover frequency they also have uh, presets for our speakers, so if you're using the 10 or the 12, you can go right into the menu, hit A10, A12, and it'll take care of the rest for you. But if you want to go more in depth, if you have a, a sound guy, or uh, if you're just kind of an audio nerd, you can set up the subs in cardioid mode. There's also a delay feature in case you have them, uh, you know, away from the tops. And uh, there's phase reversal. There's all kinds of good stuff. And again, you're not going to really find those features in this price range. For example, the 18-inch uh, sub uh, street price is $749.99. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, yep, three-year warranty as well. well on how, all the and how, how about these speakers? What are the prices? Oh, okay. So the 10, like I mentioned, $379.99. The 12, $399.99, and the 15 is $449.99. Yeah, that's really kind of unheard of. Can we, uh, well, 
Yeah, on the 10, there's just the one input. Is that the same with They're every all, speaker? We have the same uh, uh, on all of the speakers. Yeah, I mean, it's really meant to be used along with a mixer. Yeah, that's why yeah. it'll work for me, because yeah. when I do this, I, I do run both my voice and my keyboard out of the mixer, so all I need is one. Yeah. And then, you know, I usually bring my phone to the gig, too, and uh, yeah. turn it on for so music yeah, you, after With your RCA or your eighth inch, you can, you know, you can make things happen. It's also, I think, a little bit lighter when I went to pick it up. Yeah, I, yeah, they're very light. Uh, the, the 10, for example, is 24 pounds. Oh my gosh, and you've got it in white too? What's that about? Well, actually, we're, we're offering uh, custom colors. Um, we have a paint shop we work with locally. So really, whatever kind of color you want. But you know, a lot of the houses of worship, they, don't, they want the speakers to kind of blend into the aesthetic. So you know, we can match whatever color paint they want for a slight fee. Oh yeah, or maybe Amy has a favorite color called Midnight Blue. Ooh. Yeah, you, you never We know. might have to do a signature series <laughs> in Midnight Blue. Let's see, oh, let's listen to him. Okay, hey JC. That sounds nice. The low end and the high end sounds amazing. Yeah. Um, can you tell me about the uh, dB outputs on these? So on the 15 at a meter, you're looking at about 128. On the 12, you're looking at about 126. And then on the uh, 10, about 123. Uh, that's amazing. Yeah, it's as loud as most people need to get. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, sometimes I've used my speaker for like a party uh -huh. and, and just put it in a backyard and, and you can't even turn it up like halfway. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, gonna be I mean, about like that. PA speakers for parties or, you know, you'll be all right, yeah. It'll be exactly like that. I'm so excited for you guys to uh, loan me a couple of these Absolutely. and I'm gonna try them out at my gigs and uh, give you nice reviews. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm excited too. We're excited to see uh, working artists get out there and use them, you know, and I, I'm excited to hear back from you, both good or bad, you know. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah, me too. All right. I'm having a really good time here at NAMM. I'm going around, thank you. I'm uh, going around to different booths and basically telling them what I do and seeing if they want to give me any deals. These are some of the booths that I've been to already. Super nice people everywhere. It's so fun to meet everybody. I'll tell you what it is though, noisy everywhere you go. something that hasn't been invented before. He took your hearing health into consideration, not just selling you a product, but actually selling you a healthy product that will protect your hearing. All of us here are musicians or in music of some type. Is that right? Yeah. And what's our most important asset? Yeah. That's right. If you can't hear, it's going to be pretty hard for you to play. I mean, you know, there's some folks that can do some amazing things, but your ears matter the most. So without any further ado, the visionary, the genius, my hero, thank you so much for all you do. Give it up for Vitaly, y'all! Well, I'm not as good of a speaker as Eric, and so thank you for that introduction. But look, I'm really glad that you guys came out. Thank you so much for, um, for supporting us. And, uh, they wanted to be you know, really quick to tell you about this. As you might, some of you know, we released some very high-end products that have this technology. But uh, we've been working hard in the past, like, s six to 12 months to bring the, the same high-end technology into very affordable in-air. So I'm very pleased to say that um, in, in about eight weeks, we'll start shipping uh, the A3T, the A4T, yeah. the A6T, 
and then the N80, which is a special collaboration with Nathan East himself, um, and the A12T with the TIA technology. And uh, um, I'm excited because this is a new level of resolution of sound. Delicious. I'm in the IK multimedia room now, or booth, and Eric Parker's about to perform. Eric does all the music for the Star Wars trailers, and he's giving a special Star Wars performance. I'll show you a little bit. What I can say legally is, hypothetically, a payout for something like that is pretty big. So, in order for you to land something like that, you need some tools that get you from the thought to the completed project in that time. And a lot of times with other companies, you have to, so many extra steps that you have to do to get these thoughts done. And one of the great things with IK Multipedia is once I uh, started working with Eric, is we both found we used the same product. We both used Sample Tank, we both used some of the T-Racks. And the great thing about that is it gets everything done. Everything's in the box. You get the Philharmonic, you get the strings, you get the cinematic percussion, you get everything you need. And we were able to do it. The first one we got it done, like Cakewalk. Yeah. Star Wars World One, Civil yeah. War. Civil War. Uh, Spider-Man. Birth of a Nation. We Birth did. Of a nation. Yeah. Darker, but not too dark. Make it light. But how the heck do you? <laughs> what, what does that mean? You know. And so the beautiful thing about IK Multimedia, and particularly Sample Tank and Centronic, is a lot of the sounds can be tailored for your own taste and textures of what you want to do. So again, what we did was we took uh, an email that we got from the, uh, the Star Wars franchise, and we said, okay, how the heck can we make darker but not too dark appeal to the masses, but remember this is still dark. Okay, uh, yeah, okay. So, what Josh and I did is we went into Sample Tank, we went into Centronic, uh, we also went into Philharmonic 2, which, uh, I love it. Um, and we were able to kind of put something together, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you a mock-up of a trailer that we've done. Now again, Han Solo movie is not out, the official trailer is not out. So we had to kind of skate the line here. But uh, we were able to produce a mock-up trailer, and this is actually um, the music of a trailer that we did submit for the Han Solo movie. So you will probably hear this, you might not hear it, I don't know. But uh, enjoy, and then we'll, break, we'll actually break this down step by step, sound by sound, exactly how we created this with the uh, IK Multimedia Total Studio Max. Yeah. You guys ready? This is exclusive right here. So, All right. So first step. Well, we you know we also scored that we found a fan uh, a fan YouTube page. Yeah, because we can't release the actual trailer. Yeah. Sorry, so. can't give you that. But here we go. So we're able to layer a lot of these drones and a lot of these sounds with Centronic. The freedom to, to do all the sound design is, is mind-blowing. It's so small. It requires from uh, the harmonic and... And the hits that you're hearing are also the cinematic percussion that are within the bundle. Starships. 
the vocals we have that we recorded. With something like the iRig keys, you can actually input vocals directly into the interface and get something like that. With something just with a simple harmonic, harmonic harmonizer, you can get it right in. So let's let's kind of break this down here of, of how we would score this type of trailer. Um, first, let me show you which is really the, the bedrock of what we're doing, Philharmonic 2. Um, this is truly amazing. Yeah. Strings, brass, woodwinds, all of this good stuff. That's pretty much what you heard there. Um, also, you gotta have the toms. You know, and this is coming from um, the cinematic percussions here. Cinematic percussions, you got instruments, you even have loops, of course, because we do a lot of custom work, we don't use loops. Yeah. Um, we play everything together, so. What I love about the cinematic percussion too is you can uh, adjust the tail and the tune. So all of the sounds, you can make it uh, more like an 808, you can give it more rumble just based on fine tuning it and giving it actual design within the uh, Sample Tank app, which is amazing. Um, also the choir, the choir is coming from Philharmonic 2 as, as well. So we have that, uh, we have the violins, French horns. Pretty realistic. And it's not over over processed. I think that's the, the big problem I have when I'm looking at different uh, libraries and, and batches. Sometimes they're so processed that you can't layer them with anything. The great thing about these is you can literally layer them with different uh, VSTs and they, they sound so amazing. That's the Philharmonic piano. Obviously, you know, you gotta have the, the right cinematic piano in the world. And no extra reverb on that. That's like the, the act. Where there was no <laughs> Philharmonic piano. So as you see, IK has all of the sounds that we need to produce these type of trailers. And again, we've been blessed to work on so many, submit for so many. And I really would say about 85% of the sound, and that gets us to the front of the line because this is a very competitive industry, that gets us to the front of the line has been IK's realism, the um, tireless effort that they put in to create high quality sounds. Yeah. The Total Studio Max bundle gives you all of this in one box. So instead of having to go out and purchase a million you know, licenses and, and products, you can get it all and one. So with that, we're gonna just close this out and just say again, if you wanna get into trailer work, the most important thing is having the most realistic sounds possible. Because again, nobody wants to pay to, you know, to have a full orchestra in the studio anymore. Let's just be real. And the space. Right, and I know I don't have that kind of money. So at the end of the day, IK gives us exactly what we need. We're able to land these placements and hopefully what you just heard, you will be hearing in a movie theater near you. Total Studio Max. Yeah. One last thing, which we, we didn't have time to share real quick. Oh, that's right, the T-Rack, that's yeah, super see, important. That's yes. what I use for a lot of these uh, synth parts and the string parts. One of my go-tos that uh, once you guys get it and start playing with it, you'll see, is the, the quad imaging and the quad compression. Um, if you guys have, have started messing with that yet, that thing is amazing. It'll make your strings sound wider in specific frequency ranges, and it fits everywhere else. And the, uh, the tape machine and the tape echo is great for the drones. We actually use that for the drones, which give it such a wider sound. Uh, for, yeah, for everything, for every track we, we use. What I'll say, um, Josh is super amazing at sound design. He'll take a regular string, it's like, oh, that's a string, and then he'll run it through 
uh, T-Rex processing and it'll sound glitchy. It'll sound like a totally different instrument. I'm like, man, how the heck did you do that? He's like, oh, I just ran it through this filter and it was a little, and I'm like, you know what, you, um, I'm just gonna stick to playing string lines and you do that. <laughs> so. Okay. This is not your situation. I just need contemplation over you. Yeah. Uh. I'm not so systematic. It's just that I'm that addict for your love.